Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Up Comedy, back with another Dokkan Battle video. So, it feels like it's been a really long time since something exciting happened on the JP side of the game. I mean, I think I read somewhere that it's been like 34 days or 35 days since a new character was dropped, and that's just absolutely insane to me. But you know what? It's all good, because that's all in the past. We got a new celebration on the way, and it's looking really, really good. So, let's check it out. Now, we are on DBZ Space right now because, as you guys know, your boy Tiger can't read Japanese, so we're using Google Translate here to help us with the news. And according to Google, it's called the rainy season is also fully open Dokkan campaign. All right, that's that's fine. And uh, it starts on the 13th. Hold on, wait. Oh no, never mind. No, it starts tomorrow. <laughs> but there's a part two apparently. There's a second campaign, part two. That starts on the 13th of June or Thursday. So, uh, okay, let's see. Let's see what's going on. Now, we got Piccolo and Nail here for some reason. Oh, oh, it's a Nam. Right, right. It's a Namek themed celebration, of course. Yo, I'm not even. I just woke up, guys. Forgive me. Forgive me. I just woke up. Okay, so Namek themed. We got the Namekians here. Um, let's see. Let's see. All right. So, number one, we got a login bonus. Pretty standard. Number two, we got some missions. Again, pretty standard. We'll see how many stones we get from that. I believe it's something like 57 or somewhere around that range in total for all the missions. And of course, we got the Dokkan Fest here with the new uh, Transforming Goku. And also, we got a new uh, Final Form Frieza that's coming with him, who uh, is also pretty decent. If you guys want all the details about what these cards do or you know what their super attacks look like, go check out my video from earlier this morning. Um, I literally posted it at like 2.30 a.m. because... Uh, you know, I was doing stuff and then the news dropped and then I had to like drop everything and go do the, you know, video and don't worry about it. <laughs> it's not a big deal. Um, but yeah, it, it, it came out really, really early. So if you guys missed it, go check it out now and uh, you'll see all the super attacks and all the information you need for these cards and they look awesome. Like, yo, good job, Bad Knight. Good job, Akatsuki. They've been doing a really, really good job with these cards recently. Um, we got a... Gotcha for the, uh, or a banner for the Super Saiyan category, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure this is the Super Saiyan category banner. Um, we got a Dragonstone sale. Doesn't give you any details, though, for some reason. So, uh, yeah, just a sale, I guess, if you guys are into that. And we also got a uh, Dokkan event, right? I'm pretty sure this is the Dokkan event for the new Goku. We got a new story event, I believe. This is a new story event, yes. Where we get a second form Frieza who actually Extreme Z awakens on the same day. So essentially you farm him from the story mode and the Extreme Z awaken him and he is an AOE free to play unit with an active skill. And uh, I'm pretty sure he can hit pretty damn hard if you uh, have the right conditions. Cause you need a few conditions to be met to, for him to get his full boost on his passive. But once he does, I think he actually becomes really, really strong. Uh, next up we got the uh, return of this uh, Captain Ginyu event or Ginyu Force event. Um, we got the Extreme Z uh, battle for Piccolo coming back, and of course we also have the story mode for the STR Kid Gohan, and of course we also have the Extreme Z battle event for awakening the Kid Goku here, and also a new Dokkan battlefield, so more free stones guys, I believe on average it's about 30 or so, right, we get about 30 stones for clearing all the stages and that comes out on the 6th i believe yeah uh june 6th or J june june 3rd is when this comes out and we also have a new extreme z battle or extreme z awakening for buhan finally of course we knew that they were doing the extreme z awakenings now for the 70 percent leads right it was just a matter of what the order was and i'm not surprised because i'm no i know they're saving uh agl super vegeto for the end because that's the most hype one but I suspect that Broly will probably be next. It's not really like... It's more just a like gut feeling, man. Like, I don't really have any rhyme or reason for why I'm saying Broly. But I'm feeling it's going to be Broly after this. And then um, uh, Omega Shenron, of course. And then Vegito. Now, obviously, I could be completely off. They could just release Vegito, you know, next. But either way, you know, I'm getting ahead of myself. We're getting the Buhan Extreme Z Awakening. I don't know if there's any details about the card yet. Or, um or not, but right now I haven't read anything, so can't give you guys any details about that, but we are getting the Buhan Extreme Z Awakening on the 6th of June, 
And of course, we got a banner associated with that with Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks. I don't know if people really need Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks anymore, but if you guys don't have him for some reason, um, if you missed all those banners or he just didn't appear for you on all the banners he was featured on, then um, go for it because, I mean, these banners are like always okay because there's very few featured units. So if you guys really need a specific unit off these banners, um, they're actually not a bad deal. But unless you have no copies at all of like Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks or Buhan, I would definitely recommend to uh, skip these banners. But otherwise, I mean, like I said, the rate to pull each individual unit is actually quite high on these banners. All right, we also got a category banner for Batara. And we also have the Super Budokan event, which will be open for, I guess, the entire celebration. And also the return of the three Dragon Ball events for the LR Goku and Arale. So if you guys, I guess, slacked off in the past and never got your you know, Goku and Arale done, or you need to still farm the TUR, or you still need to farm Super Attack, or you just want to farm some of those like random doll items or blood rubies and all that stuff for the Kais, you know, go crazy, have fun. So that is all we have for part one of the celebration. It looks really good. I mean, new Battlefield, awesome. New Extreme Z Awakening, awesome. And uh, of course, this transforming Goku, who just looks absolutely insane. Guys, I freaked the F out when I first saw it, and um, I'm, I'm still watching it now. Like, I watched it this morning before I made this video. <laughs> it's, it's just so good. It's just so, so damn good. Okay, so uh, why don't we check out real quick the login, or sorry, not the login modus, the missions here. And it does say 57 pieces, um, which I assume is for dragon stones. But why don't we just do some quick maths here. So we got one, no sorry, uh, we got one for the daily bonus, right, daily uh, mission, but we got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifteen. So fifteen from time limited missions so uh how does that add up is the celebration gonna be like 40 days or something like that i don't really know like i said i don't read japanese i assume the 57 number here is for dragonstone so maybe it's a really long celebration and we get like 42 from dailies but uh, i could be wrong so guys don't take take my word <laughs> for this video with a tiny grain of salt because um it, the language barrier is an issue it's really an issue but anyways guys hope you enjoyed the video um, that's the celebration. I think it looks really, really good. Let me know in the comments down below which one you're the most excited for. I gotta say it's the Goku, but, um, you know, a close second would definitely be the Buhan, even though I don't think I actually have them on my JP account. So, I guess I'll just be doing it for the stones, but, uh, maybe I'll do a stream for you guys tonight like that. Let me know if you want to see that. And that's pretty much it, yo. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys found it useful in some way. And, uh... That's all I gotta say. As always, if you guys like the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. Join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content. And that's all I gotta say. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thank you so, so much for watching. I love all of you. I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcom Media, signing out.